Hi, I'm Matt Hogan. I'm founder and CEO at Datacoup. Uh, transparency is a really important theme in so much as having two parties that are taking a transaction and both parties can see the full picture, that provides for information asymmetry, which makes for, more, for a much more efficient market. And efficient markets is what the end goal is with data. Uh, right now, there's a lot of information asymmetry with regards to data and the consumer has really been left out of it. So bringing transparency to the transaction makes the consumer all that much more informed about the decisions they're making around their data. Oh, the DTL conference was fantastic. Um, anytime you're bringing together academia, uh, industry, startups, policy thinkers, policy makers, um, you're going to get a really good cocktail of, of thought and diversity of ideas. And I think we saw that with DTL today. Well, I think we've just scratched the surface uh, with regards to personal data transparency in the future. Um, you know, we're in inning number one of figuring out how do we bring transparency to a market that for a long time was constructed and, and structured in a way where there was not a lot of transparency. Um, so I think the future holds more and more uh, uh, transparency for, for both parties involved in a transaction. Uh, and that, that means with, you know, data transmission uh, and distribution, you're going to see transmit, uh, transparency increase uh, to a great degree from here on in. I think the Data Transparency Lab is, uh, is, is a great way to formulate standards in and around an industry. And I think I think you know, with data and, and having it be such a nebulous concept and, and a confusing concept for both consumers and merchants and those trafficking in data, I think uh, an organization that's, um, whose mission is to create standards around this, this new form of currency or this new asset uh, is a great thing to do to help the marketplace figure out, you know, here are the ways that we're going to uh, be using data, here are the ways we don't use data, here's what is the norm, here are the expectations. And I think the Data Transparency Lab will help to forward that message. In the field of online data transparency, I think the most significant challenge is, is going to be getting entrenched parties to behave differently around data. You know, you've had merchants and vendors acting and behaving a certain way and doing certain things with data for a long time. You've also had consumers maybe not doing certain things or not behaving in a certain way and not having incentives uh, for a long time. So getting those two parties to change how they behave with regards to this asset that's being created and traded is going to be a big challenge. I think one of the key developments uh, is going to be increased transparency into this market, which will allow for more liquidity, more ease of understanding, uh, more ease of use, and more utility from the data itself. In five years' time, I, th I think you know, the area of personal data and transparency will be certainly more mature than where we are now, hopefully. I shouldn't say certainly. Um, I think with groups like DTL and, and all the interested parties who are here today, um, I, I certainly do see progress on our horizon. Uh, within five years, it's really hard to know what other externalities are involved, whether it's, you know, self-driving cars or, uh, you know, Hyperloop and where are we creating data and all sorts of things. But um, I'm an optimist, so I imagine we're going to be in a better place than we are now. And there's going to be more transparency and more utility to be gleaned from the data.